I think a lot of people are confused by the new Arabic name, El Hajj Malik El Shabazz. This is always, I've always uh, had the name on my passport, Malik uh, El Shabazz, only I only used it in the Muslim world. Well, Hajj is a title that is given to any Muslim who makes the pilgrimage to Mecca during the official Hajj season. Well, are you, will you now use Shabazz and drop X? I'll probably continue to use Malcolm X because, and I'll probably use it as long as the situation that produced it exists. <laughs> we, you don't feel, you don't feel that Shabazz takes the place of X. Uh, uh, my going to Mecca and going into the Muslim world, into the African world, and being recognized and accepted as a Muslim and as a brother, uh, may solve the problem for me personally. But I uh, personally feel that my personal problem is never solved as long as the problem is not solved for all of our people in this country. So I remain Malcolm X as long as there is a need to protest and struggle and fight against the injustices that our people are involved in in this country. Are you prepared to go into the United Nations at this point and ask that charges be brought against the United States for its treatment of American Negroes? Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes. Please. Right in my the audience will have to be quiet. <laughs> uh, yes, the, as I pointed out when I was in, during my traveling, that nations look, African nations and Asian nations and Latin American nations look very hypocritical when they stand up in the United Nations condemning the racist practices of South Africa and that which is practiced by Portugal and Angola and saying nothing in the UN about the racist practices uh, that are, that are uh, manifest every day against Negroes in this society. Even in South Africa, those Africans uh, aren't faced with bayonets and aren't faced with police dogs. I, I would be not a man. If I was in a position to bring it in front of the United Nations and didn't do so, I wouldn't be a man. Malcolm, do you intend to lead the charge uh, in the United Nations? Well, I, I find that to say you're going to lead something creates a lot of hostility, division, jealousy, and envy. Uh, I hope to, to work with any group of leaders or any group of organizations to do whatever is necessary to see that this problem is brought before the United Nations. Have you had any commitment from any nations in Africa to support you in this move? I would rather not say at this time, but one thing I found in my travels, all of them look at, upon us as their long lost brother. You realize the implication is that you have had such commitments when you say. This is months. your interpretation of what I said. Uh, 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 one thing that I found in all of my travels was that uh, all of the Africans, not only the Africans, but the Asians and the Muslims, look upon us as their long lost brothers. And America had actually tricked many of them uh, into uh, a hands off policy by giving them the impression that she was honestly trying to do something to solve the problem. My argument over there was designed to prove that it is impossible for the United States government to solve the race problem. It's impossible. Malcolm, on your trip abroad, you said you sensed a feeling of great brotherhood and that conceivably you would be working toward integration in this country now. At least this is what you're reported to have said. Have you any comment on it? I don't think that I ever uh, mentioned anything about working toward integration. They haven't even got integration right here in New York City. You have worse integration problems in the North than they have in the South. So if it doesn't work, in, if, if you can't bring about integration in New York City as international, cosmopolitan, up-to-date as it's supposed to be, you will never get integration anywhere else in the country. Are you prepared to work with some of the leaders of the other civil rights organizations? Certainly. Certainly. We will work with any uh, groups, organizations, or leaders in any way, as long as it's genuinely designed to get results. Does your new beard have any religious significance? No, not particularly, but I do think that you find black people uh, in America as they strive to throw off the shackles of, of uh, mental colonialism will also probably reflect a, a, an effort to, show, to, to uh, throw off the shackles of uh, cultural colonialism. And they may begin to reflect desires of their own with standards of their own. Uh, Malcolm. A more controversial remarks was uh, a call for black people to get rifles and form rifle clubs some time back. Do you still favor that uh, for uh, self-defense? I, I don't see why that should be controversial. I think that if white people found themselves the victim of the same kind of brutality that black people in this country face, and they saw that the government was either unwilling or unable to protect them, 
that the intelligence on the part of the whites would make them get some rifles and shotguns and protect themselves. Now, Negroes are developing some kind of intellectual maturity too. And they can see that having waited upon the government to protect them has been a, a wait that has been uh, in vain. So uh, any of them who live in areas where the government is not able to do its job, then we do have to get together and do a job of protecting ourselves.